Alice, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be going over my September favorites. So a lot of my favorites this month are repeats, but then I also have a lot that are new favorites of mine. So let's jump on into my repeat favorites and then we'll go over some of my new favorites. The first repeat favorite of mine is the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. It is just gorgeous. I cannot get enough of this. Now, previously, I had the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in opal, and I loved that. But this, I like just a slight bit more just because of the color. So I, I like the champagne color a little bit more than opal, um, and I think it's a great color for fall, a great color for summer, and just a great year-round color. Um, it's definitely a holy grail product of mine. I love it. I love the formulation of these Shimmering Skin Perfectors. And Jaclyn Hill just did a great job. She created the best highlighter in the entire world, at least in my opinion. And it's also, I swear, the highlight on fleek phrase is, I mean, I just give that to Jaclyn. Because I think with this champagne pop, that, like, expression is now just, like, it said so, so much. So if you don't have champagne pop, I would highly recommend getting it or saving up for it or asking for it for Christmas because... It is just beautiful. Also, every product that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video, I am currently wearing. So just so you guys know that, I am wearing Champagne Pop on my cheekbone as well as all the other products that I'm going to be mentioning. So my next repeat favorite is the Tarte Brow Mousse in Taupe. I am so obsessed with this. It's really easy to work with. It's a great color. Um, and the brush that came with it, let me grab that. So here's the brush. I really like the brush that comes with this. So it has like this little end to comb out your brushes and it's a little bit um, angled, which I really like. It really helps to get in there with your brows. And then it has this a nice end right angled brush right here to get into the brow mousse. And I love it because it's not too pigmented. Like it's pigmented, but you don't go, you don't get out of control with it, which is what I really, really like. And so this is not something that I use when I'm on the go. Like, let's say I, you know, ran out the door and I need to do my brows, like, um, on the bus <laughs> or whatever, or whenever I get to, into work or whatnot. So that is when I take a brow whiz. I like brow whizzes for, for on the go. But if I have time to sit down in my vanity and do my makeup, I really love using this brow mousse. It's amazing. The next repeat favorite of mine is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um, and I have this in light, and I am so obsessed with the con this concealer, guys. Like, it's my favorite one from the drugstore. It's not my all-time favorite because it's really going to be hard to meet, beat the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because um, that just gives the best coverage. But for the drugstore, this gives pretty darn good coverage um, and lasts a decent amount of time. I, I don't think anything compares to as far as longevity goes and coverage goes as far as the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but... I think this is definitely the best one from the drugstore, and it is the se my second favorite concealer that I own. Now, I only own drugstore concealers and the MAC for Longwear concealer, so that, that also might be why. But this one is such a good formula. I was When I got the Superstay Better Skin Foundation Concealer, I was more excited about the concealer. Um, so this is almost done. I'm going to have to get another one soon, and my girlfriend actually is using it too. So this is definitely almost out, so I'm going to definitely be repurchasing this one. And one of my subscribers recently tweeted at me and asked me, okay, Alice, should I get the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer or the Maybelline um, Superstay Better Skin Concealer? And I told her the Better Skin Concealer because I love it so much. So definitely check this one out. The next repeat favorite of mine is another item from the drugstore. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. So I really like this mascara because it's great um, at separating your lashes and really just making them come, come out. Like, not, like, I don't think it really volumizes them like it would like a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara would, but I do think it really kind of, you know, separates your eyelashes out, brings them out a bit, so I think it's a really good everyday mascara. You know, you're not going to do, you're not going out at night with friends, you're not going to a special event, you're just, you know, doing your everyday routine. I just think this this is great, and it's also super affordable, so if you're going to be, so if you're going to have an everyday mascara, I think it's great to have one that's affordable. And I was pleasantly surprised by this. I only picked it up because it was like the cheapest mascara there. And I was like, I need to save money. So let me just try out this really, really affordable mascara. And this ended up working out a lot. I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one. Some other repeat favorites of mine are the MAC brushes. So this is the 224 brush and the 217 brush. And I love the 217 brush for getting into the deeper part of your crease 
to um, place eyeshadow on the lid or just to do all over blending. It's just fantastic. And then the MAC 224 brush is perfect to do that blown out crease color because um, it has a little bit of a taper um, end to it so you can kind of get into that deeper part and then just blow everything else out. So if you're not going to put anything um, in the deeper part of your crease like I would with the 217 brush and you just want to have like your blown out crease color, this is great because of that tapered end. So I highly recommend the MAC brushes. These are my favorite brushes that I own along with the MAC 242 brush, but these seem to stand out the most, especially if I'm doing a look that doesn't require the crease color, like I usually use the 242 um, for my crease color, or not my crease, my outer corner color, but a lot of the time I'm just doing my lid and crease just to save some time, um, so I love using these two brushes. And my last repeat favorites are the ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks. I'm obsessed with these. These are my favorite formulation that I have tried. Um, and they're very affordable. The color selection is just amazing. They're coming out with six more soon, so stay tuned for that. Amanda Ensing showed one on her Snapchat, so if you want to see if she she might post more, so follow her on Snapchat. I will link her Snapchat down below. Um, I also have a post which I will insert above here that shows um, the swatches or the color. I don't can't remember if it was swatches. Or just, no, it was just like the tubes of liquid lipstick. So I will show, link that above. And then you can also check out my Instagram or my other social media, um, my other forms of social media like Facebook and Twitter. Usually on Facebook and Instagram, I post pictures such as like ColourPop products that are coming out, stuff that I got. Um, so definitely check out my social media accounts there. But yeah, my favorite that I've used the, this month, I definitely think is LAX, which is what I'm wearing right now. I love the dark vampy lips for fall. And I've just been really getting into them a lot lately, so um, especially with this eye makeup look that I have on today, I really like LAX with it. And then I also tried out Avenue, and I love Avenue. I have Limbo, and then Tool I cannot find. But here, let me grab Limbo. So yeah, Limbo is more like a, a brown. Then we have LAX, which is like a really deep vampy color, but it still has red to it. And then Avenue, which is like, like a brownie red. Um... And then Tool is kind of a little bit more like a lighter, plummy, but still kind of dark fall lipstick. But I can't find it. I finally found Avenue. But my um, other one, Tool, which is my favorite, is MIA. And then for summer, I especially love Succulent. Trap is another good one. But just recently, I've been really getting into the fall ones. So that's why I mentioned Limbo, LAX, Avenue, and Tool. All right, now let's jump into new favorites. So first one I'm going to mention is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Every time that I've been doing my foundation, I have been going for this one. I just like the coverage. I like how it looks on my skin. It feels nice. It's, you know, not super dewy, but it's also not super matte. It's just, like, great in between, and I just love it. So I have, you know, my skin is normal to dry, and it usually is on the more normal side. It can get a little dry in the winter, and then, you know, if my skin's a little, you know, for the heat in the summer can kind of affect it. But... I think this works well. It looks great for it. I've heard so many people say that they really like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and I, I'm pretty sure people who have had different types of skin uh, skin types have said the same thing. So some people have been dry, some people have been oily. So it seems to be an overall foundation that has worked for a lot of people. Not saying it's going to work for everybody. It might not work for someone who's super dry. I think if you're super dry, you're going to want to get something a little bit more dewy. But um, if you're normal to dry, combination, oily, you may have a better um, chance with this. But I'm normal, usually, so I would recommend trying this one out. It is a great foundation. Also, if you guys would be interested in me doing um, a foundation review on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, let me know down below. But there are already a ten out there. But if you want to see how it looks on me, especially if you have a similar skin tone, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know down in the comments. My next favorite is NYC Liquid Eyeliner. So... I got this at the drugstore recently because, again, I wanted to get something um, that was cheaper. And I think this was like two bucks or something. Um, NYC is usually very cheap. But I really, really like it a lot, especially because of the brush. So it has a very, very tiny tip. So it makes it really easy to kind of get on that inner part to do the wing. Um, I like the formula of it. It doesn't crack too much, um, at least not, not that I've noticed. Um, but I really like it. I really love that it. it's affordable. So if you're looking for an affordable liquid eyeliner, try this one out, especially for one that has like a thin brush at the end to make it easier for your wing and the inner corner of your eye. I love it. 
All right, so the next items that I'm going to be going over are these ColourPop eyeshadows. So these eyeshadows I am all wearing today. I think out of all three, my favorite is Central Perk, which is what I am wearing on the deeper part of my crease. And it's what I've been using a lot in the deeper part of my crease. I think I use this on my, yeah, the deeper part of my crease and my lower lash line. I just love it. It's just so perfect for fall. It gives you, if you want to put this on the lower lash line with a more like everyday look, it could be a great pop of color. It's great to get in the deeper part of the crease because it's dark, but it's not a black. Um, so I'm really liking it. And what's great about it is it goes really well with stereo, which I believe is still sold out. Stereo went quick, um, but it's, oh, that's not stereo. Grab the wrong one. Um, so this is stereo. Um, and it's just a very pretty purple, sparkly um, eyeshadow. So stereo is metallic. So that is what I'm wearing on my lid today. And I think it really goes really well with uh, Central Perk. Because Central Perk is like the deeper part. And then the lid color is a sparklier part. And it kind of, they're different shades, but they're close, you know. Um, and then Cruel Intention, or Central Perk, is matte. Um, so I also like putting matte on the deeper part of the crease. And I love putting metallics on the lid. And then Girl Power is the next one that I'm going to be going over. Miss Liz Hart mentioned it in her video, which I will link down below. And she wore it, um, not only did she try it on her on her eyelid, but she also was just wearing it um, with her makeup look that she had in that video. I'm like, oh my gosh, Girl Power is a great crease color. It was a little intimidating when I first saw it. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to get that one. But once I saw it on her, I was like, oh, I have to get Girl Power. So that is what I'm wearing on my crease today. And this is also a matte shade. So... Both the deep part of the crease and the um, more blown out part of the crease, I love using matte shades. And here are some swatches. So here is Girl Power, Stereo, and then Central Perk. So my next item is a hair care item. It is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Now, I'm not saying this is the best dry shampoo in the entire world. I'm still going to continue looking for other dry shampoos to see if I like anything better. But... This is great because it's very affordable. I think it was like $4. So there is a little bit of white residue, but it's, that's as long as you don't like put it up to your hairline. Like maybe for the first spray, um, you want to hold it pretty far away and then generous being kind of keep it far away. Um, and then I have like a little white residue, especially when my roots are growing out, just to blend it in because I have lighter hair. Um, and I also think it does a really good job of volumizing your hair, giving it a little bit more body. So I also use this whenever I'm, like, even if I just showered, I will use this just to give my hair some texture. Um, I love the fact that it's only $4 because all the other ones that I've tried, which I liked just as much or I even like this a little bit better, were more expensive. They were like $20. And I'm like, I don't feel like spending $20 on dry shampoo. Um, it just goes, I go through it quickly. Um, and I don't, I just don't want to deal with that. So the fact that this is $4, very affordable. I found it at Target. I just highly recommend trying it out if you're trying to find something more affordable. And I would love to know what you think about it if you do try it. Um, but I really want to try the Batiste dry shampoo for blondes. Um, so I'm going to try that next. And I, cause I, I, since I'm blonde, I think that would be great for my roots because I think blonde, a blonde color would be a lot better than a white color, but you know what I mean? So I'm going to try that one out next. Um, but let me know down below if there are any dry shampoos that you guys really like. So the next items I'm going to be going over are fashion items. So I have been loving graphic tees this month, and I got a bunch from Rue 21. So if you guys saw my fall favorites tag, um, the Jaclyn Hill version of the fall favorites tag, I will link that down below for you guys. In that video, I was wearing a hashtag selfie t-shirt, so it looks backwards to you guys, but if you were taking a selfie, it would look like, I don't know. It's just a really fun t-shirt, and they had a bunch at Rue 21. So I also got this one, which says, this is my best selfie <laughs> which I just think is so cute and they're crop tops too they're like um so I like to wear them with high-waisted jeans um and then I got this one um I put a picture up on Instagram wearing it and this messy hair don't care so I just thought that these were so fun so I got like three of them so I got the hashtag selfie one too um I just and I would get more <laughs> maybe down the road I'll go back to Rue 21 and get some more just because they're really comfy they're cute they're fun to put on Instagram because people love I don't know a lot of people love quotes and graphic tees not everyone's into graphic tees but they're just like I just think that they're fun so I want to definitely want to get more so if you want to find some good graphic tees I would highly recommend going to Rue 21 if there isn't one near you then I would check them out online so for my favorite show this month, I'm going to mention How to Get Away with Murder. Now, it just came out. I've only seen one episode this month, but it's just such a good show that I wanted to share, share it with you guys. So pretty much there is this lawyer, and she's also a professor, and then she has a bunch of law students who work for her. 
And then pretty much the first season of the show is like, it's like a murder mystery. I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to give it away to you guys, but I just love mysteries and it's just really interesting um, because of their lawyers and how they deal with this murder case. Um, so I would highly recommend checking them out. And then the new season is also going over um, what looks like it's going to be another murder. I can't tell, but um, I don't want to give too much away. So definitely check out How to Get Away with Murder. It is such an interesting show. All right, for the month of September, I had a bunch of song favorites. So one of my favorites was Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. It is so good. It's sad. I said no one has to know what me to also, the video for that was just so sad. It was so good. I love, first of all, I just love Taylor Swift. She's my favorite. I think she's amazing. But also, her videos are amazing. I think they really tell a story. Like, she really goes all out. They're not just like, you know, your basic music video. Um, Bad Blood was just out of this world. Um, and Wildest Dreams really told a story. And I, I love that. It was a sad story. I, might, I may have teared up the first time I watched it. But um, it was just so entertaining, so good. And I love that she really connects her music with real life situations. So I really love Taylor Swift. And with all of my favorite videos, I always tell you guys what my favorite product is of the month. So I go through all of my favorites, but my number one favorite is the ColourPop Cosmetics Blush and in Cruel Intentions. It's a blush that has made me actually like blush, and I think it's a great color for fall. I've been obsessively wearing it every day. Like, sometimes I've, like, tried to, like, wear something different, so I'm not wearing this every single time but I absolutely love this blush. So I would highly recommend not only checking out ColourPop, but checking out this blush because this blush is amazing. Their other products are amazing. They are a different formulation. So the ones that come like this, you know, they work like the blushes, the bronzers, the eyeshadows are really creamy, but I really, really like that. So um, you may have to get used to the formula if you're not used to something like that, but it's really out of this world. Like when people say that these are creamy like this and the eyeshadow, like, they really are like you don't know creamy until you try these products so um i would highly recommend ColourPop. their blush and cool intensive is amazing their fall collection is amazing i love their liquid lipsticks so i guess ColourPop is my favorite brand this month um i love anastasia but i think ColourPop takes the win this month because of all their great fall products um but yeah so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful let me know down in the comments what your favorite products are from the month month of September. I would love to know. And then if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed already, please make sure to hit subscribe below. And then if you like this video, give it a like so that way I know you like guys like this type of video. And then I will see you all next time. Bye. Hey, Go on. Uh, so this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak oh. item is gravity that said hashtag selfie on it. No, that was, that was my fall favorites. That was my fall favorites. What the fuck was I wearing yesterday? Today. Lawyers who are, um, these lawyers who are, no. <laughs>